news? Well, they did it. They announced their tour. The Who is going out on the road. Roger Daltrey and Pete Townsend are headed out. They're going to kick it all off on May 7th in Grand Rapids, Michigan. And then on September 13th, they're going to be in the area at Fenway Park in Boston. Now, guys, if you have never seen a concert at Fenway, now's your chance. Make plans to come to Boston in the fall. It's pretty beautiful, I have to say. So The Who, you can go to thewho.com and find out all of the rest of their tour dates, and they're going to be releasing some new music as well. Now, Toto's song, Africa. It has been in the news so, so much the past year. Weezer covered it. They got themselves back on the charts. And now, an artist from Namibia, South Africa, he loves Toto a lot. Loves him a big time. So what he did was he set up this whole contraption in the middle of a desert in South Africa somewhere, got some solar powered speakers and, and batteries, and, and what this contraption does is it's going to play Toto Song Africa continuously for the next 55 million years. I mean, that's a, that's a lot of Africa. That's a, that's a lot of song right there. I mean, I love listening to songs over and over again, but that's, that's a lot. I mean, you could just imagine the antelope in the area. They're like, no, not that song again. Not the antelope are probably going bananas, but Max, good for you. I don't know how you did it, but Max is hoping that a Toto super fan goes and finds where he hid it. You'll hear it. Go find it. And a couple of celebrity sightings here in the New England area this past weekend. The boss himself, Bruce Springsteen. He showed up at an Irish bar on Boylston Street in Boston with his wife Patty and a friend of theirs. They sat down, they had some drinks, they listened to the local band, had themselves a great time. They were getting up to leave and the owner goes, Bruce, we loved having you here. And Bruce said, I liked being here. I did. And the owner said, come on back again. We'd love to have you back. And Bruce said, you know what? I think I'll come back under one condition. And the owner goes, what's that? What's, what is it? We'll do whatever. Bruce said, you get me a good parking spot, I'll come back. The owner goes, absolutely. We'll, we'll get you a parking spot right out front. We'll do it. Now listen, I have no idea if that conversation happened or not, but why wouldn't Bruce ask for a good parking spot? Parking in Boston kind of sucks. And at Gillette Stadium at the Patriots game last Sunday, who's there himself? Cutie Patootie Hot Pants, Mr. John Bon Jovi is with Bob Kraft. He's the owner of the Patriots. Of course they were sitting together. They love each other. They're friends. I, I mean, come on. And John's wife, Dorothea, was there. They're in the VIP box so watching the game. Then all of a sudden the stadium breaks out into singing, living on a prayer. John is across the jumbotron. But it, it would have been really bad if John didn't know the words. Like maybe he had too much beer too much Hampton Rosé, Hampton Water, whatever, but he knew the words. I'm, I'm glad for him. I really am, because that really wouldn't have been a good day <laughs> at all. So question is, Patriots are playing this Sunday. Of course, this is the deciding game. Are they getting into the Super Bowl again, or are they not? But the big question really is, will John Bon Jovi be at this game as well? Last year, John was at the deciding game for the Patriots. They won. They get into the Super Bowl last year. So will John bring him some good luck again this year? We'll see. So guys, you can listen to the latest and greatest classic rock news every Monday through Friday from 12 to 3 Eastern. All you got to do, it's wicked simple. It's wicked simple. Download the app, WWRI I-95. Guys, have a great day, a great weekend, a great everything. But most importantly, remember, keep rocking.